hair messed up and stuff. <clears throat> that's why I wear the when the when the when the <laughs> that's why I wear the scarf, you know. Uh, I I like wearing a scarf or whatever. It's a it's a mouthpiece, but I wear it on my head. It's pretty. I like it. It's nifty <laughs> and nitty, and I'm grime and gritty, shitting it over your fucking faggot city. You homo New Yorkers ain't really that alive. I was there a couple months and I survived with swollen, swollen feet. None of you gave me uh, the respect that I deserve. You all had pride and arrogance. It isn't about white boys being rich, taking over your neighborhood. You all fucked it up and 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 back in the hood and back. Uh, yeah, not gonna freestyle. Shit is better written, right? Nas, Nazir, the only fucking retard that said sorry to me. Yeah. But weeks prior to that, he was like, you know, he was trying to say, you took something from us, now we're going to get it from you. And, you know, I was at Breaking Benjamin concert, I didn't get into, and, you know, he he said something like, you know, uh, oh, my bad, dog. People said he was high. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care anybody in this world. I already said that. Not in a bad way, like I want to hurt anybody. I've been manipulated or hurt, and people think I'm evil, and somebody said that, they're using my mind or my soul to hurt people. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't even know. Like, uh, like people have been hurting and dying. You people fucking, you know, been killing each other for decades, centuries, and thousands of years. You know? I'm a real one. I'm an honest person. I want to make an honest dollar. I could do stuff that you people can't. 90, uh, I'm not going to give you percentages wise. I don't like ET. <laughs> I never did. It's creepy. But. Truth be told, when I was like five or six years old, and people uh, instigated for me to sell my soul. That's what I suffered through my whole life. I thought I did. I don't think it's true. Word up. What? No? No? I hear voices, but I'm not crazy. People communicate at different levels. I don't care if people... Th I don't care if some of you good ones don't believe me. I could care less, because I will survive. Aretha Franklin style. <laughs> R E S P E C T. Find out what it means to me. Sure as hell you don't know. <laughs> right, homie? Anyway, I had experience. It was like I was like five, six years old in Gorlita. The video I the video I made in that apartment. It was uh you know uh, on the top floor. We lived on the top floor, you know? And I remember I was in my bed. Look over there, said on the radio station, New Jersey, I think one one point five, the fat lady and the and the, you know the pepper guy. <laughs> I don't know the names. I could care less. But you know, um I remember him not that I heard it, I never heard it. But the thing about having a soul and when you're someone manipulates you and you clone yourself, you could remember stuff from their life. And retards get it, don't get it, I don't care. I could care less what you, you know what a clone is. I could give a fuck. You're an idiot. You're a retard. You know what science means. You think science is like fucking, I don't know, uh, throwing shit. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. I don't care for stupid. I'm not into stupid. I'm really not. I act stupid and I juvenile and I act like an idiot. And, you know, that's what I say, uh, I say to myself, you know, I'm going to wear this mask. I put nose on nose. I don't want to look like an idiot. When it's like half an inch all, <laughs> you know, uh, it looks creepy and I don't like that. But I don't care what people think about me. I never have. You know, I'm not insecure. I'm not, I I was, but everybody goes. I'm not like you people. Anyway, so I was like five or six years old. I was in my bed. Uh, we had a, a. It was a bedroom slash living room, and and, and far side uh, next to, in the street side was the kitchen, and my parents were in there, and they were they didn't have any guests, I believe. It was quiet or something. They were just oh maybe they had, but uh, my lights were turned off, and I woke up and it was a bean. And, you know, uh, if you look at alien technology, it says green with uh, antlers. I saw a blue bean. Or maybe someone, uh, and, you know, no, I don't think anyone manipulated me. You know, it was a blue, blue bean. I remember a blue bean. And he, he didn't have antlers. I say he. Or maybe she. It, it was, it, the thing about those beings, do they even have sex? They don't have a sexuality about them. And look, I'm not going to get into how you people, are like, you know, transvest and this and that. And you're like, well, I don't know what I am. I'm binary. This, like, that's that's very uh that's very like cosmic and very odd i'm not into that stuff anyway that blue being uh the first thing i remember and you know he remember too because he's a copy of me that's what a clone is you know should i give you a definition of that i'm not gonna do that i don't want you to know i don't care for you anyway 
We, he, 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 me, he, me, I, me and him, I, he, he was me too, not in your, your little Jehovah way, right? Uh, you know, uh, it was like, you know, first thing I said Krasnoludek, Krasnoludek, which in Polish translates to gno a gnome, except he was blue, I was like, and I don't know if I said or I thought it, and he would just wave his finger like this, no, and he started showing me images of like the future or something like that. I think it was the future, and it was creepy and scary, but I don't remember, I don't know if he if he did, I don't remember the ending of that, it was just, you know, uh, he was peaceful, at least that's how I remember him, you know, he, he was, I was in my bed, and he was like 15 or 20 feet in the corner, and, you know, he wasn't trying to scare me, at least that's how I take it, uh, that's my contact with, uh, uh, a, a, a different species uh, or, or being or maybe it's some of you that you know came to this but I don't even know the whole history I don't care I really don't you know if you can figure out lizard people this it doesn't matter anymore you know the fact is I, I always was compassionate before that I think a year prior to a month of that I fell down the stairs and I think I think so I, I don't think somebody pushed me yeah it gave me a trauma and, and then like in that same year I had another trauma with it when my relatives Marta was over there, and I think Olitka was over there, and maybe my mommy Dearest. I don't like to use that phrase, but you know, I don't I don't know if she was there or not. They stuck a pill on my behind because I was sick or not. And they yelled at me and put put my hands behind my back. It traumatized me too. You know, it, it I and I just became insecure but it, it hurt me like to the point where, you know, of this belief that people I was a kid and grown ups could do that for me. My my parents partied a lot. They drank a lot. Uh, you know, they were on some creepy stuff. Uh, Luke, Lucas, Wukash over there. I don't know what he likes to call me. I, Lucas, the other one. The not-so-nice one, me. Right? Yeah. Ask Marta how he was. He was bad. I'm not as bad. Right? Yeah. Fuck all you people. Anyway, so he... <laughs> I'm glad you liked that one. Faggot. Anyway, so he... You know, he... Uh, uh, he, I think he told the world that, but it was on radio. I hear you on the radio. Yeah. Was it me or him? Was it George Bush, you little homo? I have anger issues. I really do. I really do. You have no belief. When you see me in person, I'm not like that. I give everything the benefit of the doubt. But you know what? Right now, I feel like somebody's trying to spit at me. Yeah, it's your little demons and shit. Your little world right there. You can kiss the doors. Your matadores and shit. But anyway... So, you know, he, uh, he, d he lived a different life, you know, he, he, he should have had the life that I should have had, except, you know, how he ended, it was messed up, and there's people trying to tell me, oh, because I'm angry, and, uh, you know, he died because of me, they try to make me feel that, a couple of months ago, they made me feel like he was in his hospital bed, and he cried for me, why didn't you help me, and if it did happen, it maybe did, but I saw a vision, he was sent to the church, uh, you know, and, and he was bloody, and they didn't give him, uh, you know, they left him bloody, uh, I mean, not bloody, just, uh, you know, uh, beaten up, he was beaten up a bunch of fucking cowards, I know used to be people wanted to do that to me, 1790 Lawrence Street, Roy, New Jersey, 07065, you know, uh, 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 across the geriatric center, if any one of people hurt me, because I'm a good person, I'll expose you, I suggest you do it right now, because things are about to get real, and they have been getting real, yeah, I'm not your Jesus Christ. If I was, well, you already murdered one of me, and you murdered another one of me. Yeah, that's ease of three. It doesn't make any sense, right? No, because you're Roman Catholics over there. Worship, and I'm not going to say worship the devil, but Romans killed fucking Jesus. And you, you took that, and you put it in your Roma, right? Your little Vatican City in Rome, right? Or Vatican City, right? In your Italy, Italy, yeah, right? Yeah, so you killed the dude, and then you took his stuff, and you made it your own. Is he creepy? You're all creepy. You're all demented. You're worshippers. I don't like you. I can't stand you. You're creepers. You know, it, it, I mean, this world is it, 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 not that it's magical. It's very, uh, it's all connected. But you people manipulate to your own right, your own way, you know. And you make someone like me be a criminal, a pedophile. Which, you know, and then people tell me, well, how do you know that? Because you call me a pedophile, so I know you're a pedophile. I'm not. You're projecting. You know, I, I'm...
people are scared and saying I'm kill, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, maybe they're saying maybe they're not. Or maybe I just, you know, it's security because you know, I've been through so much. At least I'm honest, I'm real, and you know, I know what projecting is. Not actually ten times out of ten, when someone accuses me of something I'm not, it's like, well, you know, do you have proof? Like, uh, did I sleep with a kid? Am I watching child porn? Why would you even say that? Because I look a certain way. Really, like, because I'm, I'm masculine. That's what makes me uh, look like a pedophile. Really? I mean, there's masculine people probably that, you know, uh, experience with. Uh, why do you think that? And why are you so uh, uh, obsessed or, like, you know, curious about how I know you are? <laughs> like, because you call me all that, that you are. Like, why would I even. I never spent four or five years in prison for, like, hitting a female. You know, that's Baba Ganoush over there. I mean, like, what, what, I gotta prove it to you? You gotta look up your record? I don't even want to. Like, I got better things to do, you know? I really do. But whatever. <laughs> Siren's going off. Ambulance and probably a fire truck. 10.53 p.m. Third or fourth time today in Rowan, New Jersey. Sounds like it's to the mm, northeast. So it's what, Linden, Roselle? Yeah. Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> Funny thing about being taken in an ambulance when you don't want to, and a cop says, you got two choices right there in your face, like a psych psychological terror. And you beat yourself over the head in the little uh, uh, cross section between the front and the back seat. And, you know, because you like, you know, you think it's plexiglass, glass, but you realize it's hard. And you pop a, uh, something here and blood comes out. And they're, they're scared. And then get your leg in a, in, a, in a door. And you call a lawyer. Say you want to, you know, take him to court, this and that. You want to defend yourself. And people still, what, call me a, what, a child molest and a criminal. Really? <laughs> Funny thing about being in an ambulance, though. When you think you're gonna die and they're gonna give you a shot. That's what I thought. I couldn't feel my two arms. You know, and I was asking the two cops, cops, they're pigs, to take my handcuffs off because I didn't feel my arms. I was, I was just, oh, please do it. Did you think I came from my arms? Like, yeah. 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 I know some people think the worst of me. Because I suffer for fucking, you know how it feels like not to feel joints in your left, in your right arm, and you have nerve damage, and two, four months later, or three months later, you go to the hospital, and you're like fucking running people's minds, you put a shit on YouTube, and finally they give you a diagnosis because they're scared, you know, like if you fucking care about your diagnosis, huh, you ain't gonna give a fuck, you little fucking fruit over there with your little fucking uh, x-ray machine, huh, you think you did me justice, what you supposed to do? You supposed to do that? We don't have all the fire trucks and ambulances. I hope you all wake up. How evil and creepy and demented you are! I hope you do, and I hope you blame me for waking you up. Cause you know what? Yeah, bro, wake up! You're creepy, demented, and you hurt people. Hurt people like me and others. I hope you're all fucking aware how pieces of shit you are, how criminal-minded, how disgusting and evil you are. You're evil. You're evil. You're not like me. Yeah, anyway. You know, uh, not just the joint pain, but uh, uh, the ambulance ride from Rollway to uh, Elizabeth Trinitas for some reason, you know, because that's where, like, you know, when they eat our room, I don't think they told me they're going to put me in a psych ward. They took me there. And I was like, uh, you know, and this fucking idiot next to me called me, uh, you know, you never did anything in your life. And, you know, that's when I started crying. Cause, you know, I was 40, I was 41. I was like, he's right. My life's been a failure. And I cried and, I, you know, the blood kind of washed off my face and then it became a rigid. And this fucking idiot, fucking pedophile, like a little monkey, little child. Hey, I'm being angry. I know. I'm getting you excited. You're getting worked up. I'm angry. Yeah. He's like, no, no, no. You, you did everything in your life. And I was like. Bro, don't fucking talk to me, fucking loser. I'm not a fucking monkey, fucking football player, fucking, you know, gorilla fucking moron over there. Just started looking at me like... And I, I just started thinking like, oh, I think they were trying to shock me and suppress my memory. 
like they did when I had me like HTV for half an hour. I told him, listen, man, I can't film my right arm. That's not, I don't give a fuck anymore. Fuck you, faggots. You going? I didn't say if I. Oh, I can't say I'm gonna go and they're going to hell because they won't. You going? I'm gonna fuck you up like you won't leave. You're demons and shit. But before that, there was another person, old person, just walking back and forth like this behind me. And I thought he was gonna try to give me like, like uh, you know, uh, some kind of sedative to like fucking give me a heart attack or some shit. So they took me to ER in Trinidad, Elizabeth, and they tried to do the same shit. I told him over and over, I don't want to send it. I said, you you need to relax. You're like fuck you, I don't want sedatives. Two hours later, they released me. Took a picture with my blood on my face. Other things happened too, but you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm not even angry at that. I became that. Pros, this and that. <laughs> Holocaust on a different level. But you know, <laughs> yeah, Judaism, hell of a thing, right? When you're dirty, you got piss in your bathroom, and you fucking, you know. Uh, you have sex with fruits or some shit. You don't know how to talk to a female. And your scrawny little bitches are a bunch of fucking whores. And demented and suppre sexually suppressed. It's not about, uh, you know, people living in the Mediterranean and the city Jews. A lot of you people are like that. Some of you are just fucking too fucking promiscuous. And you know what to, you do with your body. And some of you call you hoes. I don't use that word. I don't like that. You know, disgusting, promiscuous, and insecure is a better term. I could get fucking less. You know? Oh yeah. Oh, uh, why didn't you record when you're in an ambulance? Yeah, I make, I make, I make voices and noise. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gay, right? I'm a homo, right? Yeah, I'm homosexual because I could do that, right? Yeah, yeah. I never slept with a dude. The dudes want to sleep with me. They're obsessed about me. I'm not homophobic. Just, I'm a little different. I'm honest and I'm secure. But uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah. Uh. Why don't you have your video camera in the ambulance and record them, put it on YouTube? If I did, it still wouldn't get played and when it got deleted or suppressed by uh, iCloud, iPhone, or Google, YouTube, I don't care. All of you. All of you. Oh, and another thing, uh, yeah, I have my uh, hands tight, uh, handcuffed behind my back and I couldn't feel any of them. Until my right hand, I turned over my left hand, then my left hand became numb and I actually... Uh, I still couldn't feel my right hand, but if uh, it didn't, uh, it didn't hurt as much. And I still have some kind of pains in here, and especially in my left joints, right here, handcuffs, right there. Yeah, I'm some slavery shit. And let me tell you something: I'm not your slave. I'm not. I'm not. I never was. I know you want me to be, but you know that's what the devil does does to like a a decent human being. Yeah. Keep doing it. You're gonna get it way worse. Either not through me, through karma or some other uh, other stuff. I don't care. But I shouldn't have said that. Because, you know, I'm letting you. Uh, I think you should. I think you all will. You know, seriously. Like you. Uh, uh, you know, like Jank Uger from the Bible. <laughs> Jank Uger from the Young Turks said. Why the Satan is? Don't you know, like, you guys lose in the Bible? I didn't read the Bible. I didn't read the end. It, it says the world will come to an end or some shit like that. Some evangelical crap. I'm not into that either. I don't believe in that. I believe evil should be exterminated, punished, and I believe in justice, integrity, and morality. I don't have respect for immorality, cowardice, and, and, and you know, just disrespect on different levels. Then I disrespect those royal police officers. Oh, you better believe it. Because they started, they started harassing me when I told them, you know, I got I, I got in a fight. I didn't do anything. And they called the cops on me. Because Jay-Z, I told him that he was he used to be a, he used to be a drug dealer. I mean, oh, what, you're going to fight with me because of that? Oh, he wasn't? He raps about it, asshole. You want to have another fight? Yeah. Where's my charger and my hoodie and uh, uh, something that I bought from an antique store that I thought was cool and you took it from me? You know, with my two toy guns, Royal Police Department. I have a trial coming up in about a week. They have to come over there and record you. I'm gonna like the door and say, We don't know. We, 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 I, we didn't know where we have it. We didn't take it. We'll see. We'll see who's the devil. Let me see you, kitty cat horns, homie. <laughs>